Here we are talking about some Wednesday rain. Keep in mind, this is the first wave of two. The second wave is the actual storm. That's on Friday and Saturday. Always mention Friday and Saturday is that window within that four to five day window of rain where I anticipate the uh, highest amount of rain. And I still think that's going to be the case. Here's your area of low pressure. It's sitting offshore. What it's doing, it's tapping in to some subtropical moisture. Often we talk about a pineapple express, an atmospheric river. We're not really tapping into it and just blowing uh, a lot of moisture into Southern California, but we have enough instability here that today we are going to get some light to moderate rain, measurable rain. But again, this is just the first part of the system. In between the actual storm moving through Friday into Saturday, there's a little period, a little lull here for tomorrow. So you might wake up tomorrow and you might get through tomorrow with absolutely nothing. You think, wow, that storm was a dud. No, remember, this is our first initial wave. It's being ushered in by the energy of the storm that still sits to the north of us. And yes, we have some pockets of some rain possible. And whenever we get yellow and red imagery, orange imagery, those cells are pretty intense. We're going to get rain out of these cells. So those of you in through South Orange County in the IE, maybe later in the afternoon, some of you in through LA Ventura County, you might get some rain about one, two o'clock. It won't last long. If you get a thunderstorm, you're going to get more rain. But today, pretty good bet. Tenth of an inch to a half an inch of rain. Measurable rain, but overall, there'll be some periods where things will be quite quiet. Now, as we look towards tomorrow, that break that I mentioned, the actual storm rolls through here Friday into Saturday. That's when we get widespread rain. This is what I would call more popcorn rain. It's just kind of popping up here or there with periods where the rain will be subsiding. We get more of the blanket rain Friday, Saturday. That's when I feel really good just saying, hey, from Santa Barbara to San Diego, anticipate rain about a quarter of an inch to an inch of rain. When it's all said and done, most areas will get about an inch of rain total. Some areas too, maybe a little bit more if you're up in the foothills and you get a thunderstorm. Sunday morning, we'll keep a chance of rain in that forecast. Should be out of here by then. Saturday, you're going to have to be able to work around some rain. If you have outdoor plans, you might want to have a backup so you can uh, facilitate the rain that we anticipate. This is a relatively warm storm, not a lot for snowfall. It'll be down to about 7,000 feet. That's about it. This is more of a rainmaker. Get used to that, by the way. We're anticipating an El Nino year which suggests more rain, but not often more snow because the elevation in the snow always a little bit higher. Megan and Chris, back over to you. See those